Now, first this morning, this for anybody caring for or looking after somebody with dementia. Orla Phipps uh, is a film studies student 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 in Southampton and during lockdown she's been staying with and looking after her granny Agnes in Eastbourne and she's posted these wee videos of just the kind of everyday conversations they've had and the little things she's done with her granny uh, looking over old photographs watching the chase bringing her a wee bun singing together all the little daily things that help people's dementia keep a hold of who they are and who they were and they've absolutely touched people because they've got hundreds of thousands of followers. And Orla's with me now. Morning, Orla. Good morning, John. Hi. <laughs> Great to talk to you. Thank you for doing this. Oh, no, thank you for having me. Now, I have to, for people who haven't seen any of the videos, and there are literally hundreds of them, uh, we've put together a wee kind of a mashup um, of some of the videos. All are filmed in the living room in the front of the TV with Agnes <laughs> sitting in her chair. So have a listen to this. Do you know what my name is? No. You don't know my name? No. no? Should I tell you? Yes. It's Irish. Irish. I do like Irish. Oh, we like Irish, oh, we don't do we? Like Irish, don't my we? mum's Irish. Is she really? Yeah. Agnes is a nice name as well. I like it too. It's yeah, it suits you. A beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> <laughs> do you know it's my dad's birthday tomorrow? Is that Anthony? You know, yes, Anthony yeah, is my dad. Anthony. You know. I didn't know that. I mean, I was sort of... It, 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 it was in the back of... You you, yeah. you just knew. How old do you reckon he's going to be? About uh, nine. <laughs> well, I'm 20. Oh, and I'm his daughter, so... Um... When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful videos, Orla. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that singing wasn't very good. <laughs> the singing was great. I mean, the, 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 if, if, for people who haven't been following it, I mean, every so often, because of dementia, you can produce the photograph of you sitting. There's a photograph of you as a baby. Oh, yes. And yeah. your family and your granny. And you kind of say, who's that baby? And and she doesn't know, and then you say, that's me, and then you say, you're my grandmother. She's like, I'm your, I'm your grandmother. <laughs> She's and always pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so that day when you said, whose birthday, and she went, Anthony, was like, that was where amazing. did that come from? Yeah. One day, yeah. she just, it just clicked, and she remembered him. Yeah, she, she always surprises me sometimes. She just comes out with just such random, like, things I never knew she would... I thought she'd forgotten, but sometimes it just comes back, which is really nice. So why do you think these videos have taken off, Orla? Um, I, I'm not so sure. They, they resonate with lots of different people, I think. Um, people who are carers like me or who have been carers in the past, and people who have loved ones with dementia or who have sadly lost people to dementia. Um, I think just because they're just so... I think they're very genuine. You know, my grandma can't put up a front. You know, she is who she is, and she's just a wonderful person. And I think they're they're just honest little videos. And you know, if you're honest, I always find that there's someone who's going to relate to that. Yeah. Um, and it's I think we're very lucky that we've reached such lovely people through TikTok who support us. And you know, grandma's just such a lovely lady that you know it's impossible to hate her. She's so. great, and she's just so she's 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 proper you know she's the twinkly eyes she's just got a real spark about her and you know what's in there someone when you see it when you speak to her and her, her face just lights up it is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful we should mention in the first clip that we heard there you said my name orla and it's irish and she's so we do like irish oh yes <laughs> because there's a big irish connection her her mother was from antrim isn't that right yes she was yeah um and she's very proud of that fact she has a little coaster that she sits with all day long and it has um, an Irish blessing on it and she loves, loves to read it out. And, you know, you mention Ireland to her and, you know, it makes her whole day, really. So she's very, very proud of her Irish family. Um, and then your mum yeah. <laughs> is, is from Kilkenny. She is, yeah, Thomastown in Kilkenny. Um, yeah, Maura Lawler's her name, if anyone knew her. <laughs> but, yeah, she... Um, 
you know, we like to go and visit our family over there as often as possible. And with the pandemic, it's not easy. But, you know, also through the videos, they've been able to see what we're up to. Um, so, yeah. So great. tell us about Granny Agnes then. She, she, she was a teacher. She was, yes. Yeah, she was a primary school teacher um, before I was born. And I, I heard she was very loved at the school she taught at. Um, and, yes, yeah, she loves... She loves music. Um, she grew up on a farm in Wiltshire, so she loves animals. And yeah, she's she's kind of kept that spark all throughout her life. You know, if, if I ever bring in my dog or something, <laughs> she she absolutely loves animals and babies. And uh, I, I think she was a very, very good teacher when and, she was. And many of the videos feature you bringing in Stitch, for example. Oh, the yes. Stuff toy uh, <laughs> that you have, and you come in and you say, uh, grandma, grandma, can I, can you look after this for me for just five minutes? I need to go upstairs. And she's like, well, well, how long? How long for? Just five minutes, just five minutes. I just yeah. need to go upstairs. And then you take a step out of the room and you film from the from the stairs. Yeah. And you see her just <laughs> hugging this wee stitch and talking to it and kind of telling you're great, you're great, you're lovely, you're lovely, you're really nice. It is just... Yeah. I haven't I haven't been able to show it to anybody who hasn't broken down and cried in the cinema. Oh, oh that means a lot. Um, I'm glad that, you know, people... I hope it's happy tears. Um, but no, I, I like her to feel like she is doing something important, you know, um, and you can't really get rid of that mother's love. You know, she has, she's had three children herself and five grandchildren. Um, and it's one of those instincts that, you know, sticks around for as, as long as possible. So giving her a cuddly toy and telling her, you know, it's important, you know, that you look after this because you can do this, you know. Um, or even showing like her the painting. There's a painting up on the wall of a nun oh, yes. Yes. in a frame on the wall, and you say, that's a lovely painting. And you, you, I mean, you, you do this regularly. Because of dementia, you can do this <laughs> yeah. regularly. So you say... That's a lovely painting. It is, isn't it? It is, she says. And then you say, who, who, do you know who painted that? No. You say, it was you. She's like, what? Yeah. I painted that. I painted that. You painted that. You were very talented. You painted it when you were 18. And you see the delight in her. And just in that, and that's what dementia is all about. It's yeah. in that moment, just being happy. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, um, you know, the moment is all you've got. And yeah, it doesn't really... I've got lots of comments about people, you know, asking, does it upset me that she doesn't remember specific things? Like, she doesn't always know I'm her granddaughter and stuff like that. But, you know, in every moment, she's happy. And it, that's what matters. So I like her to feel proud of herself. Um, because, you know, she does feel proud of herself when she knows that she's done things like that. So I try to remind her as often as possible, you know, the things that she's achieved and she can admire her, her own work, which is really nice to and, see. And I love when you say to her, you know, Granny, you know, we have lots of people, there are lots of people watching us. You know how many followers we have. You know how many people like that video? And it's like, how many? And you say, three million. Yeah. And she's like, what? And you just know, <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane to think that so many people have been following you and actually sending you things and sending you cuddly toys yeah. and sending gifts for her, wee chocolates and stuff. Yeah, that is really lovely. And they come along with such lovely notes as well. And... Um, yeah, it's very strange to think about the numbers as, you know, real people and not just, you know, it's, you can see it on a screen. But then when, when we get comments and notes from people and we realise, oh, each of, you know, every number is a person who, who has seen this. Um, I'm, I'm very, very, you know, proud of my grandma and I'm so happy to be able to share her with the world um, because everybody needs someone like that in their life who's just happy and positive especially in times like these <laughs> just for today that's all it needs to be is just for this minute just for this hour just for this afternoon just for today she's very happy and then you you deal with tomorrow tomorrow absolutely yeah yeah you never know what's going to happen i mean it's a story you know you're a film study student you want to make films you're 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 in production you're looking at ideas and putting ideas nice. together so this film study student becomes a carer and then becomes a kind of dementia advocate and, and TikTok star. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> we know, no, never expected anything like this to happen. Um, but, you know, I think it's meant to be. The timings were just just so, so good with everything um, that I couldn't really see it any other way now. Yeah. 
it's yeah, and do you just, get to do your nice. work do you get you, you go upstairs and I know she I know she watches you playing Animal Crossing she does and, yeah. and she watches she loves the night garden in the night garden she does love in the night garden and to be honest I love it as well it's actually <laughs> very entertaining uh, and, and ironically hilarious but uh but the two of you just seem so happy together yeah I think we have a good thing going um and I think we understand each other you know I think you know kind of you know tell what she needs if she doesn't have to say it and i think you can only really have that by spending so much time with somebody so i i'm very i feel very lucky and blessed to to be the person who's looking after her because i couldn't imagine anyone nicer to look after and yeah. it's so rewarding and working in film of course now you yes. have this record of this very special time in in your lives yeah i it's but, I'm just so I'm so grateful to be able to go back and watch you know I think over 500 videos now yeah. we've made and uh, you know even listening back to the the ones you played about my dad's birthday and and I'd forgotten that myself so I I do like to scroll back and watch and see how she's you know you know smiling you know throughout all of it um, it's really nice she's pretty well, look, give her a big hug from all of I us will do. <laughs> and, and tell her she'll have loads more followers and uh and people liking the videos here in northern ireland after this thank you so much and and well done you and and keep it up thank you so much thanks thank a million orla lovely to talk to you thank you take care if you want to follow orla she's on twitter at orla phipps um or you can find her on tiktok and sit yourself down with a cup of tea and go through the videos and i guarantee you you'll not be able to hold it together. It is just beautiful. Orla Phipps, 21 minutes past 11 o'clock. BBC Radio Ulster, BBC Radio Foils, The John Toll Show.